was up. I'm the delivery driver. I'm here. Yes, you're here to take our original corbet. Huh? <laughs> it's a painting, dear. You'll be taking me and Mr. B I don't think I'm supposed to take passenger. What is all this nonsense? Mr. Octavius Butler, this was all supposed... Didn't you tell the company that we simply can't let this... Pa I did, my love, I did. There must be... I'm sure our young driver friend will consent to take us. It won't be a problem, and we'd hate to raise a complaint. I guess so. Let's be going, then. I want to see our new... Ap Apparently, Trisha and the Joneses have moved in next... And I don't want her spreading gossip about our new home and how it still smells like smoked fish. Oh my, this is cozy. I've never been in a vehicle like this. Very retro. I agree, very nice indeed. Do you understand us, young lady, or should we speak slower? I understand fine. Dear, you must be very curious, are you not? How a woman like me and an android like Mr. Octavius Butler met? Sure. No. <laughs> well, I can tell from your accent that you're not Does from she the have an city. Accent? But we're quite enlightened here, you know. Isn't that right, Mr. Octavius Butler? That's right, my love. Some might say that Mr. Octavius Butler is human passing. Oh my god. Get me out of this. Get me out of this, dude. But I don't care about that. I love him for who he is inside, not what his outer skin is made of. Whatever you say. It's a polymer plastic. <laughs> oh, you are hilarious. What was I saying? Oh, yes. We met at a charity fundraiser. We both work for Life Corp. I'm in HR, and Mr. Octavius Butler is in acquisitions. We had executive offices next door. We started meeting for coffee, and one thing led to another. Wow. And now, just a week until our fifth anniversary, we're on our way to our new home. Aren't you happy for us? Uh, yeah. Deaf. I just hope he says, yeah, deaf. Definitely. We're suddenly happier than the family that's moving out. Oh, don't start all that again. This area is up and coming now. The people living there couldn't afford it, and they wouldn't fit in either. With hypergentrification, they're forced out instantly instead of being pushed out over months and years. It's a short, sharp shock, but it's for the best for everyone. People who argue against free markets don't really believe in freedom. What freedom does this bring to the people who can't plan for a future? That's just life in Navalis. If you don't like it, go live somewhere else. Not everyone is suited for life in the city. Some people need to live here. Well, maybe in the nice places, but who needs to live in the filth of the marrow? No one stays there without good reason. And the reason is they all dream of getting rich with some scheme or other to make their way up to the spire. That's the Navalis dream. Our society has a million slots and each must be filled. Every time someone moves up a peg, someone fills in the gap behind them. And every time someone at the bottom slips, where do they go? I read in the holocron yesterday that the most common food in the marrow is now roach meat kebabs, noodles with rat. Those kinds of people love street food. No offense, dear. None taken. I love a maggot pizza. We're almost at our destination. Splendid. We're, we're at our destination. You see, Mr. Octavius Butler, look at this fabulous place. Different and together, but separate. That's how we exist together oh my God. in the city without all the systems breaking down. That's what they used to say about androids, you know. Oh, don't hearken back to your revolutionary days again. You have rights now, just like humans. Androids are just a part of society, low and high. We are all the same, you know. As long as we all have the same bank balance. 
Well, you're welcome to give away all your money to the orphans and the rat children. You can come and stay in my penthouse as long as you take off your shoes and have a shower before you touch me. Very generous of you, my love. Have either of you ever actually been to the Marrow? Oh, heavens no, dear. I have family in the Spire, and Mr. Octavius Butler is from a very distinguished line of androids. He's descended from the very first Korra models. Wait, what does that mean? Why do you mention Korra? It's just a saying, isn't it, Mr. Octavius Butler? In a way... It means he's refined, dear, just like me. We have no prejudice here. We're very enlightened people in the city, you know. Mm. Yeah, you said that before. Y yeah, you said Do that you maybe twice now. Do you think the family will still be there when we arrive? I shouldn't think so. Two hours of rent at peak rate and they'd be bankrupt. I'm sure they're long gone, either moved on or forced out by Corpsec for violating their lease. I bet they'll be somewhere nice. Not everyone ends up in the marrow, you know. Maybe one day they'll seize the means of production down there. <laughs> oh, you are witty. The production of mold burgers and rat salad. No offense, dear. Yeah, none taken. <laughs> Thank you for getting us to our destination, driver. It's been fun to drive in a vehicle that's much more rustic than our limo. Wow. Our painting made it here safely, too. And what a lovely neighborhood. Quite so. Wow, great. I love Did they just go separate directions? Or is this the two of them on the left? Wouldn't that be something? God, this is why I'm not a taxi driver. I didn't like them. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't think they would like automata. Or dogs. Or anyone poorer than them. Less educated, less well-connected, less stuck up. Different in any way. But one of them was an android. I know, Camus. I have a question. Go ahead. Did you really eat maggot pizza? No, Camus. I was playing along. Oh, a joke. I laugh at them. Me too. It's all we can do. Hmm. So... It is very quiet. It makes me nervous. We can listen to the ad streams if you like. Are they interesting? Aren't you listening to this ambient music? Sure, if you want to learn all about everything we can never afford. What about music? No thanks. We can check the weather feed if you like. No thanks. If you want it, I can put it on. Fine, but we're not tuning into any of the Corp music feeds. They're all ads and Corp approved pop stars. They sound so empty, hollow. How do we find other feeds? I only know about Corp channels. The radio, Camus. The what? An electromagnetic wave of a frequency between about 300 kilohertz and 300 megahertz. You can tune that in, right? Yes, I have found it. I'm hearing it now. How strange. It's the easiest way to broadcast without the corpse shutting you down. They've been playing music with radio waves for thousands of years, you know. Thousands How of years. How did you know? Mom told me if I ever visited Novalis, I should tune into the pirate radio. She said it was the only good thing about the city. Go ahead, play something over the speakers. What about this? I like it. Maybe something a bit more relaxed, though. I know this one. I like the bit that goes ba ba ba. Yeah, it's nice, Camus. But let's see what else there is. Oh, oh, what about this? Do we know who this is? No. It is radio. Right, sorry. Dumb question. Do you like this one more? I like this one. I like it too, but keep searching. There is one more. Yes, this is perfect. Mom would have liked this. We have a new job coming in. From Control? He normally calls. The checksum confirms it's Cloudpunk. I have a nav point. Let's go then. Looks like I'll have to go on foot. It's pretty far from a parking bay. I will stay here and play the waiting game. What's the waiting game? I guess how long it takes for me to get bored. Then, when I get bored, I start the game again. Right. I'll try to be quick. What's up, Susie? Hello? 
Oh my god! Who are you? I haven't seen you here before. Come and speak to Come me. Come speak to me. Why are you shouting so much? I'm not shouting. Not really. I could shout if you want. I just want to talk to you. Fine, just keep it down. Who are you? Oh my god. I'm Susie, and I love meeting new people. I'm so, so happy right now. I live for this. You live for talking to strangers? Uh, yes. You know introverts and extroverts. You're an introvert, right? There's no such thing. It's all just nonsense, like star signs or blood types. But some people like to be more outgoing and meet new people. And some people like to stay home and read. Wow. Everybody likes those things at different times. That's just being alive. Well, I don't agree. You know extroverts. Well, I'm an extrovert. Nice. I was quiet and shy, but I got a neural mob that makes me super confident. Now, I can't stop meeting new people. That sounds awful. <laughs> I can't stop. That sounds well, terrifying. I mean, maybe I could help. I could... <laughs> I'm sorry. This is really dull. I need to talk to someone new. Uh, could you move along, please? Wow. That sure was something. I am being stolen. Camus, did you get bored? No, it is true. I am being stolen. Shit, really? Lock the doors. They are already inside. Tell them to get out. Threaten them. Pretend you have an anti-theft subroutine. Uh, they can hear you. Why am I on speaker? Camus. I am taking off. I am frightened. Deactivate the Hava. Can't. <laughs> Hacked. Hava Automata Eject Custom Personality Camus Data Drive. Eject? What if I fall into the ocean? Then you'll float, I think. You think? What if I get... Damn it! Eject Camus Data Drive, now! Drive deactivated and ejected. Camus? Camus? Shit, shit, shit. Think, Rania, think. The drive. It should be registered to me. I can track it on my comm. Rescue Camus. I can't believe there's not just like an immediate subroutine for this, you know? How did it end up here? Damn it, Camus, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to dry you off, I guess. You can't talk to me right now. You probably can't even hear me. But if you can, I'm going to fix this. This isn't going to be a pleasant phone call. Control? Control, can you hear me? I read you, kid. Uh, you okay? Yeah. No. Look, I have some bad news. You lost the Hava? Yes. How did you... We track it. Listen. This one ain't on you, kid. Don't sweat it. it happens all the time. It happens all the time? What? Seriously? <laughs> Hava jacking? Oh, yeah. Surprised it hasn't happened already. So, am I fired or not? Kid, we got insurance. Uh, you weren't hurt. But more important, you didn't lose a package. But what do I do without a Hava? I'm not gonna lie. We got a pretty generous repair-replace policy. I'm not saying we're happy when some slumganger steals a Hava that's two months over its predicted expiry date. Well, actually, I am gonna say it because it's true. Past its expiry date? How much of a junker was I driving? Hey, don't worry about it, kid. It got pinched before it fell out of the sky. <laughs> Best outcome for everyone. Not for me. Not for my... What the hell am I supposed to do now? Relax. You're real close to one of our suppliers. I'm sending a nav point for Grimm's Hava Mall. You ain't gonna find a Spire limousine from old Grimm, but any Hava he I can get a new Hava? You were in before. Choose anything you want on us. Just tell Grim that Cloudpunk sent you. Control out. Hold on, Camus. I'll get you back as soon as I can. It's gonna tell me I need a piece of shit. Hey, how you doing? Windy out there? That's just how your hair looks. Beautiful. 
Now, I got a brand new open top malichka for you. I know these models don't go on fire half as much as people say. We got customer reviews up in the high three. What I want to know from high you threes. is what are your reasons for not buying this hover? You got none. I'm going to put you down for one, and I even got a discount for you because I love you. You know, with the music and that funny thing you do with the chanting. Yeah, I kind of love this one. Unless you want something. I'm from Cloudpunk. You're supposed to. Jeez, lady, why didn't you say? Yeah, have a look around. That cloud punk pays me eat away. So if you'll excuse me. Yeah, thanks for all your. Dude, hell yeah, I get to pick. Oh shit, dude. Which one do I pick? They all look so tight. I mean, this has to be like a funky choice, right? Like, we're not actually gonna keep this thing. Or it's gonna be totally fucked. I mean, this one is like blue and white, dude. This looks sick. This one actually looks like a taxi. I don't know, this one just looks like a Super Nintendo, so I feel like this is the one. I am your new Hava Automata. Please say your name, sir. Install new Automata custom personality. I have it on a data drive. That will be 1500 limbs for activation. Charge it to Cloudpunk. How long will it take to. Ah! Camus, are you okay? Ah. Uh, yes. What happened? I was stolen. We bailed you out on the data drive and I found you in a puddle. Then Cloudpunk sprung for a new Hava. It feels different, bigger. I can think more clearly. This is, yes, this is an improvement. Seems like I, I hope so. I thought it would take a while to activate you. Did it feel like you were gone long? Everything was black and I was floating. It was quiet. Well, I'm glad you're back. Me too. Being bored is better than being stolen. Uh, I wanted to ask a question. What is it? What happened to mom? You've been offline for a while, Camus. Mom isn't around anymore. Do you really want to know what happened? Will it make me sad? Yes. Yeah. Being a car is fun, but I am excited to get a new frame. Do I have to be a dog again? Well, you don't have to be. You could be a cat. Oh, no. Oh, no. I thought you would say that. What about another animal? A bear or beep, beep. Why are you beeping? We are being called in by Cloudpunk for a Hova overhaul. I thought Control said we could choose any Hava we wanted. Are they checking up on us? I don't know. Beep. But we have a nav point and beep. The beeping is not stopping. Fine. Let's just get to the nav point. Get a Hova. Oh, they're going to take it away. What's wrong? Camus controls are frozen. And the doors are locked. We can't even land. Oh, no. It hurts. They are holding us. It's... Your vehicle is currently being locked down by CorpSec Authority based on a data access violation. Please take your hand off your controls and deactivate your automata. I am fighting. Ouch. Uh, I can try to... It's no use, Camus. You'll just overheat your processor. Shut down for now. But... That's because I looked up Cora on the under... It'll be dark. okay. Just go offline. Custom Automata Personality Camus, now offline. Dang. Your vehicle will be set on an automatic course for the nearest CorpSec debriefing center. Your next of kin shall be notified. If you have any corporate connections or exacerbating finance options available, now would be the time to notify us. I've got no money and no friends here. Very well. You will now be- What the hell? Oh shit. Good to see you're still moving, Rania. I've bailed you out here. I just used up some serious clock cycles on you today. My top hacker rubric just bought you some time. Those corpse set network protections were no match for his skills. You better move fast, though. If you can get to me in time, I might be able to clear out this mess for you. Why are you doing this? I've taken a liking to you. Now hurry on over. You must be worried about how you can pay me back for this. But I got good news for you. I thought of a favor you can do for me already. Oh, I hate the sound of that. You brought
got me more juice? No. No juice, no. I'm not here for- Unless you give me a reason you should get in. Does Lomo know you're dealing at the door? Uh, I'm not dealing. Just go in and keep your- Got there. Where are you? I still don't feel good. Are you in danger? Can I help? Is it dangerous? Yes, it's dangerous. I'm about to meet the most feared criminal in the city, and I have to watch what I say. I need to look cool, so stop calling me on the comm and asking if it's dangerous. It is dangerous. Try to keep calm. Uh, yes, I am calm. Very calm. Just wait for me. I'll sort this out as best I can. Then you should be unlocked and we can get out of here. Rania, good to see you. What's going on, Lomo? How did I get away from Corpsec? Why is more relevant to your current situation? You hacked Corpsec? Not personally. How can that be? Corpsec nets are way above the hard lines we can access down here. This might not be obvious when you look at your surroundings, but I'm a man with significant resources, Rainier. It's not obvious based on our current just enough clock cycles from high-level mainframes to get work done when needed. Though, even I had enough second thoughts when I considered the costs involved to save you. But wow. of course, anything for a friend. I even put rubric on the case. You've heard of him, of course? I guess. I have a lot of names. You'd be familiar with a few. Rubric will even be helping with the favor I mentioned. Do you remember the favor? What do you want? I need someone I can trust to take a package through a null gate. Why not just let Corpsec arrest me? Null gates scan a vehicle at the molecular level. That's the point. You can't smuggle anything through. You have the shape of the problem in your mind, but you don't see the details. A null gate can't be fooled, but the person operating it can. You don't need to know the technicalities, Rania. Suffice it to say, there are patterns which bring us to a higher state of consciousness. But there are also patterns which inhibit our thinking. These recurring, distracting patterns have been cropping up for the corpsec gatekeepers across all their media feeds for some time now. You hypnotize them? That's an old-fashioned way of looking at it. Let's just say their attention has been diluted, and they are more likely to see what we want them to see. No. Oh. I must be honest, Rania. The chances of you making it through are not 100%. What percent are they? About 42.5%. Oh, okay. I'd... Before you despair, Rania, know this. If you make this delivery, I'll be in a position to pardon you of your crimes. A clean slate is tempting, no? And if I walk out of here? Oh, of course. I will completely understand. It is risky, I admit. But we will keep your vehicle. Scrap it for parts. You see, Corpsec are looking for it anyway. And though we won't tell Corpsec where to look for you, I'm afraid they won't struggle to find you. Your offense is not severe enough to send you to the colonies. But you won't work again. I'll find some way to make money. No doubt, Rania. I applaud your entrepreneurial spirit. But while you are looking for gainful employment, how long until the debt corp find you? How do you know about... Fine, I'll do it. Splendid. Now, about this package. They don't tell you what's in the package at Cloudpunk, do they? I'll tell you, though, if you ask. What am I delivering? You're delivering hope, Rania. That package contains a potential cure for Pallet 3.0. That's a computer virus, right? I've said all I can say. Get running, little rabbit. Little rabbit. <laughs>